title of this in the book is from the chapter Frequency Warfare, and it is a little sensationalized, but kind of true for where we are right now. Because when we look at it, everything has a frequency. The clothing you wear has a frequency, right? The wood, the trees, everything is vibrating. We're, we are matter, right? We are solid, but we're not. When you go down to the molecular level, every molecule is moving and has space between it and is vibrating always. So even though your arm feels solid, it's really not. It's our belief that makes it solid. <laughs> So we are always have these frequencies around us. And now more than ever, there are more frequencies. Your the cell phone, the satellites, the radio waves, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi. Um, and you know, part of it is that when we're aware that there are these big shifts of new frequencies being introduced to our experience, it's not being in a fear space about it. It's just seeing, okay, this is it. How am I moving and adapting to it? And you know. One of the main reasons I incorporated this is because of my own experience dealing with 5G when I lived in Chicago. And then also a lot of people right now, it's, there is no running and hiding anywhere. They're putting, it's being put in satellites to go around the earth. It's going to be a 6G, 7G. So really it's like, how are we transmuting it? How are we optimizing our vessel? So we're not in a fear space or feeling victimized by it. And, you know, there are, Anybody that wants to be in a space of observation can see that where, you know, a certain respiratory uh, condition that showed itself in 2020 showed up in a place where they unrolled 5G in China and Wuhan. And, uh, you know, when you start looking at especially 5G, like the way that it functions is it's sending out these super short, high powered bursts and there's I'll go quickly into it. I went up against Crown Castle with Bill Gates on the big chunk of when they put a 5G antenna behind a house I owned in Chicago. Um, they put it 30 feet out the back door. I went and I met with the people at Crown Castle and the aldermen, and they showed me what they called the heat maps, which was a plug-in that they put over Google Earth, just like the plug-in I used for the ley lines, the UVG grid. Um, and looking at it, you could see that it was a grid that they were building. So, you know, it's if we're to lay all the 5G towers over the earth grid, you're going to start seeing like a lot of correlation with how things are gridded up. Um, and I'm sure many of us in here are already very well aware of this. Yeah, well, I would say that it's really important for us to energetically detox. This is going to help a lot because these uh, these frequencies, these five G frequencies here, are you know they're they work they work with heavy metals in the body. Mm. So when the heavy metals are activated, and that's in you know most of the, the, the food and the water and all things. Um, then it actually can help strengthen parasites in the body. So the 5G activates the heavy metals and then the parasites get their food and then there's more, um, you know, infiltration, if you will, of our mind, our body, and our soul because of these, of these entity attachments. So detoxing heavy metals um, is super important. You can use zeolite plays. Um, the smart niacin uh, detox and sweat is a great one to um, to look up. Um, maybe I can drop it in the Telegram group. I think I have months past, but I could drop it again or pin it. Um, this one is really going to help to get all these heavy metals out. Working with that specific protocol with zeolite clays um, is really important. And I'll just say really briefly, one of my experiences with the Smart Nice and Detox and Sweat was it got to a point where I could, I was gradually increasing the dosage of niacin, the, uh, the flushing niacin, and um, was getting to the point where I could taste like NyQuil specifically because it really drives into the muscles and pulling out out of the soft tissues, these, you know, heavy metals. And so it was just very interesting since I was like, a, as a child, I drank a lot of NyQuil, like DayQuil and NyQuil, my mom just gave it to me all the time. So it was like, whoa, this stuff is coming out. Like, 
hardcore. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to offer that as a, a great solution. Well, and then uh, with all that, it's like what, what Rachel's sharing, it's like to be in the awareness that there is uh, some beings with agendas for uh, ex being in a space of external authority, which requires power, being power given away and manipulation and coercion. And that a lot of this is meant to entrain us into the sympathetic breath state or sympathetic being of fight or flight. The reptilian brain. The reptilian brain. And that through light and sound, we can be entranced. And, you know, television programming or radio programming. In the ebook, I drop a lot of links to patents um, that exist already filed by certain names that seem like maybe kind of fictitious. Um, and this gets, you know, there's a, a lot deeper, all this can go, but just in the awareness that like we, with working with these tools and not just these tools, but these modalities and in intentional ways, like we're in a space of reclaiming our energetic sovereignty. I'm here to harmonize. I'm here to synthesize. I'm here to energize. I'm here to